Did a Russian soldier finish off their wounded comrade after that wounded comrade was hit by a Ukrainian FPV drone? A number of people asked me to take a look at this video. I don't normally analyze stuff like this because there's usually no good intel or lessons learned. It's just showing people getting blown up or, or shot just, just to show them getting blown up or shot. And that this is not supposed to be entertainment. But this particular video uh, might show two things about the mentality and the uh, logistics situation of the Russian army. That being said, this will probably be a Substack exclusive. If somehow this makes it up on YouTube, go to ryanmcbeth.substack.com to see the full video. Uh, I, I don't know if I can recut this to be compliant with YouTube's terms of service. I'm going to try, but I'm not holding my breath. Thank you to all my Substack subscribers. You know, I, I barely make any money off of YouTube. Uh, it's you guys who are the real heroes that actually keep this channel running. Anyway, let's watch the video. couple of things to start here. This started on Telegram and found its way over to Twitter and Reddit. Uh, looks like these dudes are running, most likely from something. Uh, based on the debris on the ground and the craters, this is likely a pretty contested area. Yeah, you can actually see the shadow of the observation drone here. And uh, you can also see that this dude in the middle is not armed. Uh, now note that being unarmed does not necessarily mean they're not a valid target. Uh, there may be a number of circumstances as to why this person lost his weapon or doesn't have his weapon. Um, but I, I guarantee you this, everybody in a command center is more likely armed with a ham sandwich than a rifle, and they're still considered valid targets. So not being armed does not mean that person is not a combatant. Um, so this guy in the middle is hit with an FPV drone. You can actually see the drone and the drone shadow right here. What's interesting is that the guy below, after he saw that dude was hit, he is in no hurry to check out his bike. Uh, and he kind of slows to a walk. Uh, he might have thought that maybe this was a landmine. I, I don't know. Um, now, it is, th this dude is still alive, and it looks like he's grabbing his crotch. It is possible that he might have a wound on his penis, which could explain what happens next. Now, we don't see the posture of the soldier as he approaches the wounded soldier, but it looks like this was performed all in one motion, that the dude just steps up, doesn't even hesitate, and shoots the guy. Uh, so I don't know if the wounded soldier asked to be executed or if the soldier with the rifle took it upon himself to do it. Uh, note the presence of the generic multicam. It's mainly Russia that wears knockoff multicam. Also note that this soldier is wearing Adidas sneakers instead of boots. Uh, and, and that might say something. That's kind of why I agreed to do the video. Uh, I think if you have your soldiers wearing Adidas sneakers instead of proper boots, proper footwear, even if it's just low heel, uh, low, uh, low top boots, uh, like our hiking boots, um, you know, that, that, that might say something about the Russian logistics situation that they can't even get their dudes boots now. Um, so this dude rolls in, lines up the shot, shoots the wounded dude, and the drone pans out. And you can see what might be a destroyed MTLB right here. Uh, the dude up front then takes cover in the bushes. So a couple of things. Um, I've been watching videos, combat footage videos, for about two years now. And this is the first time I've seen a Russian soldier finish somebody off. And I hate even saying that word, mainly because that word, like, finish them off, is normally used by people who never served in the military and have no idea the brotherhood that we have. American soldiers don't leave their, their wounded and we don't leave their dead. We bring them with us. We get everybody home. That scene in Black Hawk Down where General Garrison says, No one gets left behind. Yeah, that's a real thing. We do not leave our wounded or our dead. And I can tell you that even Iraqi and Afghan insurgents didn't do that. Uh, once the tactical situation permitted, insurgents would try to collect their wounded and dead, uh, at least from what I saw. And that, that might be because in Islam, you know, uh, a timely and proper burial is very, very important. They, they try to, to get the bodies in the ground before sundown. And if you watch my videos, you can just see fields of bodies and nobody ever seems to come and collect them. So this could be a one-off. This could just be uh, like the guy was hit in the penis and the soldier coming up behind him made a decision. Or uh, maybe the wounded guy asked the soldier to, to uh, end his life after he noticed that he was wounded in the crotch. 
Uh, but I also think that we're looking at this through Western eyes. If, if you come from a culture of misery and suffering and you get your draft notice and you acquiesce because that's what a real man would do and you go through training and you get no procedures on medical evacuation because medical evacuation is a, isn't a priority. And if you hate your commanders and your life because you're sent into this meat grinder with no support, maybe even no food, it's, it's, easy, it's easy to think that we would be so much better than them if we were in that situation, that, that somehow we would be different, that you would help a wounded buddy instead of shooting them. And this might be a one-off, or it might be an instance of cruelty. Who knows, maybe that guy who was wounded was a jerk. <laughs> you know, and the guy coming up behind him was like, I'm, I'm finally gonna finish this dude off. I'm done with this dude. This dude owes me money. Or maybe that guy owed him money, right? Or it might be an act of mercy. We don't really know. I'm actually more interested in this guy's shoes. Uh, I think the use of sneakers instead of proper footwear shows the state of the Russian military logistics situation uh, more than just this dude getting put out of his misery. So, yeah, I think this really happened, but whether it's being done as a matter of policy is, is inconclusive. I've only seen this happen once with this video. Look, I'm probably not going to make any money off this because I probably won't be able to recut it for YouTube. So if you are a part, of, part of my Substack as a free member, consider giving me the five bucks to join. And also uh, head over to Amazon, buy my short story, Warlock, for Kindle. I would really appreciate it. It's a quick, fun read. It's more fun than watching this video. It's only 99 cents. Thank you guys for watching.